are. I am joined uh, with Dan Maybe here today, and of course, Matt usually joins me, but as you can see, Matt has turned into a sick little pup. He is actually under the weather today, so he is uh, he's here with us in spirit, uh, spirit only, so we'll... Uh, Okay, there you go. So we don't even want to listen to him. He sounds awful. Um, you know, so he, he's going to take a, a little bit of a hiatus today, but that's all right. The show must go on. So I appreciate everyone being here with us today. We are going to be talking with Dan maybe about a healthy WordPress community and what he has going on with WP and up. So hello and good morning or good afternoon, or you, you probably have so much jet lag right now from coming back from WordCamp. You're not sure what time of the day it is. Huh? That's right. Absolutely. Hey, hey. Well, thank you. It's uh, yeah, a little bit confusing. Not sure whether it's up or down at the minute. I'm um, uh, 20, 27 hours getting back from Nashville. Um, oh my gosh. Delay, delayed flights, misconnections, lost luggage, the delayed trains, got the works. So, oh yes. man, what, did you have to fly from Tennessee up to New York or something like that to get back? Uh, I flew into Chicago. Okay. Uh, and yeah, my, bag, my baggage is going the wrong way from Chicago. So. Oh no. Did everything end up in the right place? No. No, no. It's, it's going the wrong way around the world as we speak right now. Oh, man. Yeah. That's like my nightmare, my total traveling nightmare. But it was, I was such a high from the WordCamp. I really don't care. Okay. Well, that's good. Awesome. That's that's a good attitude. Better than the one I would have. I don't think the uh, customer service representative that answered that phone call would be uh, very happy with their job by the time I was done with that. Right. Well, awesome. Well, Dan, for those of uh, those of the people joining us here today that don't know a whole lot about you, why don't you give us a little introduction about who you are and what you do? I know you got all kinds of things going on, and I would probably butcher it, so I'll let you take the reins on it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Dan Maybe. Um, I run an agency called Blue Thirty Seven, uh, based out of London. Uh, I also run a number of community focused projects. Uh, this year, I'm the uh, Lead for WordCamp London 29, or co-lead with uh, with Babs. Um, I run a number of meetups, including the London, Liverpool. Uh, we've got four meetups across the UK at the minute, um, and I also uh, have founded a charity, a non-profit uh, called WPN Up, focusing on promoting and supporting positive mental health within the WordPress community. Um, so, quite a number of different hats uh, that I wear, uh, but a lot a lot of what I do is, as I say, focused around the community. Uh, I've, I've been involved in WordPress or using WordPress uh, for around 10 years now, um, heavily involved in the community for about six, maybe seven years, um, I think le uh, leading the WordPress London meetup. Uh, it was a big, uh, big intro for me into the community. Uh, I think it was actually my, from my very first event um, that I turned up as an attendee, first time I'd ever attended anything, any kind of WordPress community event style thing. Uh, stuck my hand up, Keith Devon uh, was the lead of the event at the time, and he was looking for support. I thought, you know what, I'll just dive straight in uh, and get involved, um, and uh, you know, the rest is history, if you like. Uh, yeah, we're no now through through what we've been doing with the uh, the WordPress London meetup specifically uh, and the awesome sponsors that we've had um, support it, it's uh, really enabled me to have a lot of a lot of conversations, meet with a lot of the community, um, and start to develop um, what is now form what is now becoming uh, WPN Up. Yeah, and it's amazing. You know, I'm I'm fairly new to the WordPress community, so I've been kicking around maybe uh, two years now. But uh, you know, I came from like a competitive. Uh, you know, local industry market. Like we had, a, I worked in sign shops and print shops and, you know, all the competitors hated each other and would, you know, try to sabotage each other at every turn, you know, and I think that's how, you know, probably most industries are, you know, it's very competitive. And when I, when I found the WordPress community and like the online community of support that surrounds WordPress, it, it really blew my mind. Like it took me a while to go, you know, like, is this for real? Like, um, it's just amazing how supportive people are and helpful people are. And it's, I think it's pretty unique, you know, can you think of any other industries that have a setup like that? There are a couple of other um, open source projects that have similar uh, communities, um, certainly Drupal. Um, I, 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 I've got to say, this is the, the, um, the most uh, kind of inclusive, welcoming community um, I've come across. Um, unfortunately, there are some other communities that aren't quite so healthy. Um, but I mean, we've, so we've, we've just had World Camp US, uh, 2000 plus um, well, people that are what effectively are competitors, uh, sure. and yet we'll all, we'll all share 
Um, we'll we'll talk. Uh, we'll we'll. I, th I think we've, we've taken this healthy mentality of knowing that there is enough work about for all of us. Um, there really isn't much of that kind of competition um, within the community. Um, yeah. and there's a there's a lot of support as well. A lot of people looking out for one another, um, which is which is amazing. Yeah, I think about like this group that we have. You know, uh, there's around five six hundred people in here, and we're all in here giving away all of our trade secrets to each other. You know, which is just kind of mind blowing. If I had to explain that to somebody that wasn't part of the WordPress space, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think they'd wonder what I was doing. But yes. I think part of it is just that like open source mentality. Like it starts mm -hmm. with that as the foundation, and it gives everybody kind of some sense of how all this fits together, and it's all kind of based on sharing ideas. Absolutely, yeah, and it's been the it's the the uh, the core of what we're doing with WPNF. It's it's making sure that we are maintaining that, that open source ethos, maintaining that open source mentality. Um, everything we're doing with it, we are trying to be as open um, as as possible. We've uh, we've published our business plan. We've published all of our our, um, our, our figures. Uh, we want to ensure that we are trying to be as transparent as as uh, we possibly can. Um, as I said, to, to kind of follow that ethos of open source and inclusiveness. Yeah. And, you, you know, online, you, you tend to see people put on kind of like their best face online, mm -hmm. you know, because you can kind of create a persona and be a completely different person online. So mm -hmm. I think at the same time where we're all kind of being open and stuff with each other, it doesn't mean we're always being honest with each other. So I think that's kind of an interesting uh, factor that goes into this whole thing. So for the people that aren't, um, aren't aware of WP and up, can you give us a good overview of how that came about and what the mission of WP and up is? Yeah, sure. So a um, bit of history back in 2014, um, I, I felt the need, I wanted to, to deliver something to the community um, that um, Initially, I wanted to support individuals that are struggling with addiction, um, whether that's drink, drug, uh, various forms of addiction. Um, it's something that's quite close to my heart. It's something that I've, I've wanted to deliver for many years prior to even being involved in, within the WordPress community. Um, and I kind of started down that path and it felt very, very big. Um, it was, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Um, and as I went on, it, I just kept kind of pushing it back. It, I, kind of, I need to focus on my business. I need to focus on myself. There was always a reason. There was always something else um, for me to, to be focused on. Um, over the years, uh, as I running the, the various meetups, having conversations with people, I just I, I, uh, realized and recognized that there was this 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 uh, need for something uh, to support people from a, from a kind of a healthy uh, um, mental health perspective. Back end of last year, um, so back end of 2017, um, I brought together what are uh, what are now the, the core of the trustees of the nonprofit. Uh, we sat down together and we said, "Look, what is this? What does this look like?" We we sat down. I think we, it was a good six hour meeting. We just walk, we just walked through the theories, the concepts um, from my kind of original seed of this this nonprofit supporting. Um, uh, uh, individuals with addiction and we really drilled down and realized that at the core of everything we were talking about was mental health um, so we decided we needed to, to progress um, we started the process of registering as a um, charity here in the UK um, although we are we are um, looking we are offering global support it's not just in the UK um, but we needed we are I'm UK based as, as are the trustees uh, the other trustees um, so we registered. We went through that process of registering. Uh, it took us about 21, 22 weeks. Um, there was an awful lot that went into that. Um, at the same time, we also started um, just doing a very, very little bit of marketing. Um, it was we weren't even really thinking of it as marketing. It was just a case of we wanted to kind of say hello. This is what we're thinking of bringing to the community. This is what we're wanting to do. Um, we weren't really kind of marketing any service or, or, or product or anything like that at all. Um, we put together the, the original press forward video, um, which we had m many of many members of the community uh, get on board and support. Um, and we actually received a, a real flood of uh, individuals coming forward and saying that they they needed support, they needed help um, with with their, their mental health. Um, it. 
was an unintended consequence because uh, yeah. we weren't we weren't prepared. We didn't have uh, the services, uh, the the infrastructure in place to be able to deliver any kind of support. Um, but we we couldn't simply just ignore these individuals that were were stepping up, uh, that were coming forward. Um, so we we looked at and asked what could we do, how could we deliver some form of support um, without being funded. Uh, and we looked at de delivering kind of mentorship and companionship, uh, which we've been doing over the last twelve months. We had uh, we've had about three and a half thousand hours uh, donated to us um, by uh, various volunteers. We've got about twenty four volunteers involved in the project at the moment, um, delivering about that we've delivered uh, it's a little over eight hundred hours um, of uh, support to people reaching out to us over those twelve months, um, and. All of this has been achieved completely unfunded. We've we've got a number of services that we are wanting to develop uh, and deliver, which include uh, the incorporation of professional mental health uh, professionals, um, uh, professional mental health experts. So, of course, that comes at a cost, um, and that's where at this stage we're now looking for funding. Uh, looking to deliver this service, uh, we want to combine the kind of expertise of the the kind of WordPress community, the, the expertise of uh, understanding running a WordPress business, um, being a WordPress designer, being a WordPress developer, uh, freelancer, uh, with the professional mental health services as well. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a hybrid um, of the of the uh, the two skills and two uh, well, multiple skill sets. Uh, together to deliver support. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, the whole story is just pretty amazing. And to see that need and to get out and do something about it. Like a lot of us see problems in the world and, you know, it just kind of passes you by. So uh, kudos for getting up and doing something about it. I know you're going to, you've already affected a bunch of people and I know you're going to be uh, helping out a lot more. You know, so with, with mental health, there's just such this stigma, which, you know, when you talked about, you know, kind of doing this soft launch of WP and up, uh, probably not knowing exactly what would come from it. And then all of a sudden you're getting people, you know, asking for help right away. Mm -hmm. And I think that that just plays into that stigma is people don't want to talk about it. Um, but if somebody asks them, you know, it's, you know, it's easy to make a cry for help. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's one of these things too, that it affects everyone. Like there's not a person watching this or listening to this that doesn't, uh, suffer from some sort of mental health issues or know somebody that's close to them that does. It's, mm -hmm. it's just life, you know, and there's not a reason to be ashamed of it. That's, it's just the way things are, you know? So yeah. it's, it's really important that, that people just get out and talk about it and not feel ashamed about it, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. And I've had a, a number of times over the, over the weekend at, at Work Camp US, I've had the, the question asked, what can we, the community do? Um, and my answer is the same every single time just talk about it just start talking and we've had i've given a number of talks we've run a number of sessions at various events um and every single time i, I, I do or any other team do we have the same experience we, we have this um this this outpouring of people uh whether it's at the event or whether it's privately afterwards um talking and, and opening up about their 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 um their, str their struggles whether it's uh, depression anxiety various mental health issues it, it's it's almost like the, the community is waiting for permission to talk about mental health. Um, I think there's there's been a number of individuals in the community um, that have done a really awesome job of um, uh, talking about it, speaking about it in the past. Um, and I'm, I'm so, so grateful to um, uh, to the likes of uh, Aaron Campbell, for example, at Work Camp Europe, uh, I think it was last year, um, gave a talk. And, th th and there are many others. Um, we've got... Uh, Laura Nelson in the UK, here in the UK, um, who's, who's given some talks and, and many others. And if we can continue to do that, if we can continue to remove the stigma um, associated with mental health, um, so just running uh, running meetups um, and just running a meetup in its own right is going to help and support because you're reducing the potential for social isolation um, by having right. these meetups, these work camps. Uh, I know, I know p from personal experience what it can be like turning up 
to a work pre- to a, to a meet up for the first time, not knowing anybody. I know exactly how um, daunting that can feel, but actually stepping out and doing it and getting in and getting involved with the community um, is it's it's so healthy in many many ways. Uh, not just the not just the fact you're getting out and you're getting that social interaction, but also you can um, develop business relationships. Uh, you can find that your business can uh, can, can benefit from it as well. Yeah, I think WordPress, going back to the community, it's it's u- uniquely positioned on both sides of this. So I think uh, us as a profession, being people who sit in front of a computer all day, um, probably have less social interaction when you're running, you know, a small agency or, you know, a solo, uh, you know, a solo thing like I have where I'm sitting in this room for 8, 10, 12 hours a day, uh, you know, talking to myself. I think, you know, that kind of uniquely sets you up to if you have some of those issues, it can really sink you in that hole even further. Mm -hmm. But the bright side of that is we also have this amazing community that automatically wants to see how they can give back. So I think it's a a pretty unique position that I think, you know, we can have a pretty good impact and try to all tackle this together and and make Mm -hmm. WordPress even a, a healthier place than it is now. Absolutely. And we, we've got some tools that are available to us that just allow us to do it so simply and, and at little to no cost. I mean, simply having having a, a, a Google Hangout open uh, with other people in the community. You may not necessarily be chatting, but just simply having that Google Hangout open um, in the background whilst you're, you're continuing to work. And it just you, when you're in this kind of uh, freelance or solo business owner or distributed team member environment where you're potentially on your own for, for hours on end, um, you, you, you kind of you remove the traditional workplace environments where you've got people just chatting and you hear things going on. Um, so simply having, a, a, say, a Google Hangout or a Zoom call just just running in the background um, is a really great way of, of reducing that, that isolation um, and coming together because it's that just that just the often just bouncing ideas back and forth and that, that I think oh you know what should I do this or should we run it this way or the just simple questions or not, not simple questions but questions that you want to just bounce around um, that you often you can't do um, without that kind of more more traditional office space environment yeah and that's that's definitely something that you know, it not only has it helped my mental well-being as far as going from working at a full-time job with, you know, co-workers and all that. And, you know, that brings its own stress as well. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, I moved into one day, okay, I quit my job and now I sit at home all day, you know, and mm-hmm. I, um, you know, I have my wife here, I have kids here, but at the same time, you know, you just don't get that same social interaction. So having these communities where you can, uh, you know, one, you get a lot of like business questions answered and, and help yeah. with your business, which is great. But the other is, you know, and, and we spend a lot of time on this probably too much in, in our group is just kind of hanging out and having fun yeah. and yeah. just uh, getting to know each other, you know, and that's, that's, right. that's just, yes. that's almost as important, you know, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. You know, part of it, you feel bad for wasting time when you could be getting stuff done, but at the same time, you kind of need that time as well. So mm-hmm. it's not really time wasted. Yeah, it's it's interesting. We look at some of the, the statistics around that productive time of individuals whilst they're in an office space, and actually how little of that time is productive time. Um, so, of course, we we if we're in a similar position if we're at home, if we're in a home office, or if we're in a, a, a small office. Um, that kind of that unproductive time needs to be used productively in some way, and, and that kind of uh, social social engagement, social interaction, uh, is a real positive. It's interesting because you've, you've mentioned um, a couple of things there that are um, kind of key to what we're doing within WP and Up. We've, we've developed for what we're calling health hubs. Um, we've got the, the mental health, the physical health, business health, and skills health um, are the four kind of key areas that we found that every individual that's coming through and we're chatting with, uh, they kind of they fit into one of those four hubs. Um, and we're, we're developing, skill, uh, developing services and, and products within those four areas um because we've we've got the overarching focus of mental health um we, we, but we do, do, do feel there are individuals that come to us that uh, that do that are presented with uh, strictly mental health issues um which of course we then need to bring in professional services to support that um but then we have other individuals that that come and we start a conversation with them uh, and we realize they if they they're struggling with depression for example it may, the cause may be that they're struggling with their business and they're struggling with their business because they're, they're, there is a lack of skill in some way. They may be a very, very good developer, but they don't know how to market themselves. Right. Um, so it's it's about kind of what uh, what's the, the cause and what's the root of, of what's going on with them. 
Yeah. And there's so many overlapping factors, you know, mm-hmm. that, uh, you know, w- w- like you said, that, that business problem you might be having could be the thing that's, that's causing some other issues in your life. Mm-hmm. So looking at that at a more holistic approach, I think is pretty mm-hmm. wise and forward yes. thinking of you. So, um, y'all do have a website, of course, I, mm-hmm. I would imagine any place called WP has a website, <laughs> yes. so people can go check it out at WP and up. Dot org. Mm-hmm. I was just uh, telling Dan how beautiful this site is. I, I really <laughs> dig it. So you can go on there and find all kinds of information that they have on here. And also, and importantly, you can make a donation. Um, mm-hmm. it, it looks like it allows you to make any sort of donation you'd like on here. It's a good time of the year to uh, to try to give back to, to the community and to others, it's the time for giving. So even if you can just go on there and spare a couple of dollars, I know the, uh, the team at WP and up will appreciate that. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. No, we've, we've, um, we've publicly displayed our, our fundraising, uh, goals and on, um, um, where the money's being spent, uh, because we want to ensure that we are being transparent. There is a, there's a, uh, docs.wpandup.org site. Um, which I think is linked down in the footer of the main sites, which um, it includes our business plan and, and where we're actually going to be spending this money. Uh, we've set a goal. It's our, our, our year one um, projected cost of £260,000. Um, we've broken that down into, we're looking for £150,000 worth of corporate um, partnerships, uh, £100,000 from government grants and £10,000 from public donations. Um, we've received uh, somewhere in the region about seven and a half thousand pounds of public donations before we've even really started to to ask for um, support and donations. So uh, it, it, the, the kind of last twelve months really have demonstrated there's this there's a real need for it within the community, but there's also uh, equal there's, there is a real support for it within the community. Um, so we've we, we've been absolutely blown away by the way uh, that. The, the, the community has responded to us uh, simply talking about WP and up and the the theory of, of uh, the the, uh, the, um, the theory of the services that we're delivering within it. So, yeah, I, I I don't think you'll have a problem with people getting on board for sure, and I'm glad to hear that that has not been the case. Now you just got back from WordCamp in the U.S., yes. where there there was plenty of probably the WordPress core team. So. Mm-hmm. What kind of interaction would you, have you had with any of the WordPress officials uh, as far as WP and up, and what has their support been like? Uh, really, really positive. Um, we've had a couple of the, we've had a number of the core team that are um, supporting us. Uh, we've actually got indiv- in, one of the individuals is um, uh, come on board as a as an advisor. Um, we, I had a re- I had a uh, interesting conversation with Matt Mullenweg yesterday, uh, day before yesterday. Um, <laughs> losing track of what day's what <laughs> um, and talking about just uh, raising awareness of what we're actually doing um, and uh, received a very positive response um, from him uh, had some incredible conversations with businesses um, at the event a um, number of businesses have uh, pledged I think we've got a list of I think it's 13 businesses oh, just over the, over the two days that I was having these conversations that have uh, stepped up, have pledged to support WP and Up from a financial perspective, but not just purely from a financial perspective. They're also looking to, to raise awareness, raise the profile of, uh, of what we're doing. Um, so I'm, I, I, now I'm back in the UK and we're going to start sit down with the team. We're going to work through um, how best to really just say a huge, huge thank you to each and every one of these companies and individuals that have stepped up um, uh, to support us because uh, it, it is a desperately needed service. It's unfortunately a desperately underfunded service generally. Um, we found, I mean, certainly in the UK, we've got a, a deficit of about £2 billion um, in terms of national mental health support. Um, they we were projected around six, is a, the actual cost is around £6 billion. Uh, We've just had £2 billion put in by the, uh, by the government. So, it's not just in our space. It's it's uh, globally um, that this this needs. We need better support. So, what kind of challenges do you do you foresee with this being such an international audience? You know, uh, the the setup which you just talked about in the UK um, is is different than how it is here in the US, and, and other countries have different setups. And then we have a lot of countries that. Uh, might not even have a lot of mental health or any mental health services available. So you're talking about talking with people in different languages and cultures and uh, cultural norms. Um, so how, how does that uh, fit into your plans? 
It's a great question and one I've had several several times over this weekend. Um, it's a really, really difficult one. Uh, there's, there is no one simple answer, unfortunately, um, because if there was, we wouldn't, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. Um, there's a lot of issues, a lot of uh, cultural issues, for example. Um, there are some countries where simply talking about mental health is just not appropriate. Uh, some countries where talking about mental health, from, if you are a male, um, is a really major issue. Um, there, there are not just cultural, religious, there are, there are many, many thing, hurdles that we are going to have to overcome. Um, what we, we want to um, tap into the community. Uh, we've, we've got this incredible global community around us already. Uh, and we want to use that. We want to utilize that in the best way we possibly can. We also don't want to be reinventing the wheel at every single stage. Uh, here in the UK, we've um, partnered with Mind, uh, as a, a national charity, uh, to support, um, uh, to, to provide further support. Uh, and it's it's about replicating that model. Um, so we want to use uh, develop systems within the community that allow um, almost like a kind of buddy structure. Um, we're very aware that we have to be uh, conscious of the fact that we're dealing with a sensitive issue, um, and we can't we can't ask individuals to deal uh, with um, to, to deliver any kind of support from a mental health perspective. We can offer support in terms of kind of mentorship and companionship um, from within the WordPress community. Uh, and then it's about partnering with uh, professional services and, and um, through our kind of network, allow it, en enabling education and uh, signposting to these professional services. So there's there's an awful lot of work to be done um, uh, yet. So there's an awful lot of questions to be asked and answered um, as to how best to deliver that service. So it's uh, definitely going to be an ongoing yeah. ongoing issue for yeah. us. You didn't pick an easy thing to go into, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. No, well, but then why do easy? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So um, what are some other ways that people might be able to help out as far as you know, let's say they can or can't give monetarily. What are some of the other ways people might be able to help having these conversations, um, talking about this in groups? I know we just had a, a uh, an episode a little while ago where we were talking about kind of having an, uh, an accountability partner. And this mm -hmm. was more for the business saying, you know, like help, help keep me on track and make sure I'm reaching my goals and stuff. But another facet of that is having somebody to talk to in general. So Absolutely. I think having those conversations are good. But what are some other ways we can promote WP and up? Uh, so, so there are various things that we need to uh, need to get achieved. Uh, various things that people can do to support us in that. Um, uh, so we've got we've got a team of volunteers. Um, if individ if anybody is looking to support, um, then I'm more than happy to have a conversation around kind of what volunteering looks like, uh, what's involved, what. Um, uh, how we have those conversations, etc. We do have a Slack team, um, a, a small Slack team where in that Slack team we are kind of developing and evolving and shaping um, WP and up. Um, the there are there are various ways of uh, getting involved, whether it's um, uh, as I say volunteering, uh, um, just simply talking about us and just raising the profile, just just helping other people know uh, that there is this thing around that's um, that is offering this this kind of level of support um, we've the, the the volunteers that we have at the moment do a wide ranging set of things from um, uh, supporting us from our, our social media our engagement uh, our content uh, through to be uh, being a, a mentor um, and we do have a, a set of individuals that have stepped up and are um, come board as advisors. So really, kind of helping us really shape what this what this looks like. Um, uh, there are um, we've got a couple of initiatives coming up. Uh, we're running um, the uh, December Buddies initiative at the minute, uh, which isn't isn't quite the full package that we wanted to deliver. Um, but unfortunately, it it, uh, it comes down to time. Um, but we've got um, through the month of January, uh, we're going to be running our um, uh, mentorship in movement. Um, so it's combining uh, mentorship calls whilst actually getting out and moving. Um, so instead of kind of sitting here and, and having our a traditional kind of mentorship uh, masterclass, masterclass call, 
Uh, we're actually going to stick some headphones in and go out, and whether it's walk, whether it's a uh, wheel, it's just get yourselves moving whilst you're actually on that mentor call. Uh, that, sorry, that mastermind call. Uh, and during February, um, and this is a big one that we would we would love to reach out to the to the global community with. Um, we are running. Um, uh, uh, we're encouraging all meetups and, if possible, work camps. I realise we're a bit late on on work camps now, uh, but encouraging events just to have something within their event through February. Uh, focused on mental health, whether that's a talk, whether that's a discussion. Um, so throughout the whole month of February, we ha- we know that our our global community of meetups um, are are talking and opening the door to have that conversation about mental health. Um, I think we've got fourteen meetups across the UK that have come on board already, uh, and now we're we're now starting to reach out to, uh, to the global community, the global audience, and say, look, let's do this. Let's just raise awareness through the month of February. Okay, that's that's awesome, and I'm glad to hear that. And I know there's some people in our group that uh, that help run some meetups, so hopefully that message will get to them as well, and and they can at least uh, you know bring up the subject um, yeah. during a meeting. So that would be awesome. I mean, the easiest thing you could probably do right when we get done with this call is just share the website on social media. Plenty of us have other friends that are developers and designers and all that, and just make sure everybody is aware that this is out here and aware that you're you know willing to. Um, to bring up the subject without um, without that stigma, you know, and I think that's a big part of it. Once you once you see everybody else is open to it, that makes it a whole lot easier. So, yes. if if anybody's looking to share anything, with, so if you uh, visit wpnup.org forward slash press forward, so uh, that one there uh, forward slash press forward, uh, it will redirect you to our our press forward video, uh, which was a video I mentioned earlier on in the call, which. Um, uh, it was an awesome time. We we had an, many members of the, the community step up, and it's it's a uh, quite a nice little introduction to um, to what we're doing, um, and just gives a couple of quick stats and figures, um, and uh, it's just a, a nice thing to be sharing. A nice, uh, it's a good thing just to be sharing across social. Yeah, absolutely. And I know there's quite a few members of our community there that, that are highlighted in that group. So, oh yes, <laughs> awesome. All right, Dan. Well, before we get off this call, do you have anything else you want to add to the conversation, or do you think we covered it? Um, I think we've covered a lot of a lot of what we wanted to, to, to discuss here. I just want to say a big thank you to uh, to both yourself and Matt for uh, for enabling us to have this conversation. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry to uh, sorry to hear that you're 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 struggling at the moment uh, with your physical health. Um, and I hope you uh, hope you recover quickly. Um, and just want to say a big, big thank you to uh, to everybody that's out there that's listening um, and watching this at the moment, uh, because there are so many people. Uh, uh, I know there are many members in your uh, in your your Facebook group um, that are already supporting WPN Up. Um, so we really we really couldn't do this without the community support. So I just I just want to say a big personal thank you to each and every one of you. Well, thank you for uh, doing all the hard work and putting in all this time to it. I'm sure it's a huge commitment and uh, it's something that's definitely needed. So uh, you're the one that stepped up to bat for it. And we're, we're definitely as a community grateful to have that resource, you and everybody that's helping with it. So thank you uh, very much. And uh, definitely next year when you're, uh, when you're promoting different things going on the month, let us know so we can help promote that within our community as well. We'll be more than happy to do that. Yeah, will do. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Well, we'll we'll catch you on the next episode. Y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye.